All right, so everybody knows most developers work for salary, okay? Now, when you work for salary, that means that even if you're putting overtime, you're not getting anything extra. If you signed up for 60,000, 60,000 is what you're gonna get. If you signed up for 120,000, 120,000, that's the maximum that you're ever gonna get, okay? No matter if you work 10 hours or you work 100 hours, all right? Now, I'm gonna talk about this situation that some of the developers at Rockstar have been going through. Now, Rockstar, if you guys don't know, is the creators of Grand Theft Auto, the creative of Red Dead Redemption. And, you know, there's an article floating around that basically a lot of the developers there had to work, you know, up to 100 hours a week, you know, when it came down to crunch time. Now, for some of you guys, you might be <laughs> surprised. You'd be like, damn, 100 hours in one week? And yeah, some companies expect you to work long hours. Now, it's up to you if you really want to do that. Now, some people might say, man, if I don't work those long hours, I'm going to get fired, right? But I think it's really the developer's fault that these companies, they put those pressure on them because we give the company and the CEOs and the owners too much power in the sense of they dictate how much we earn, they dictate how many hours we supposed to put in, and if not, we get fired, right? If we all come in and say, hey man, as developers, we should be getting paid overtime, right? A company will have to look at that and say, okay, maybe they're right. And you know what they will do is, they will hire you to work your 40 hours, and will hire other developers to work the night shift at 40 hours or something like that. I mean, they do that with IT, okay? If you not from that background, well, let me explain to you. A lot of companies that have an IT team, meaning like, you know, the guys that come in and connect the computers and make sure the printers are up, the freaking, the servers are up and everything's working flawlessly, right? Usually, there's a guy that works in the daytime, right? And there's a guy who works in the nighttime or even some guy who works in like India or something remotely that can connect to the servers and, you know, bring everything up, spin it up and etc. right? Whatever the situation might be, okay? And I think in the tech industry, we should have that also too as far as web developers, right? If there's a job that needs to get done, let's say in two weeks, and we know that we need to get it done by two weeks. There should be a team that works in the daytime and there should be a team that works in the nighttime. All right? Now, it's ridiculous when there's developers coming in at eight o'clock in the morning and then from there leaving at 10 o'clock at night. That's kind of ridiculous. And that happens all the time and sometimes even more, right? Especially if you work the weekends. So, like this guy is at Rockstar, they literally were going through that, you know. They building a huge game, uh, one of the most successful games out there. And, you know, there's a lot of pressure that comes with that, right? The company wants to put pressure on the developers like, hey, man, you guys got to come in. You guys got to come in to work. Y'all got to come in, put in that work. Do what you have to do. I want this whole game done by September or let's say November or whatever, right? Well... Sometimes it can't get done if we only work 40 hours a week. And that's where companies take advantage. Hey guys, this video is brought to you by CodingFace.com. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you like this video, and go check out the links in the description. You're going to find a lot of good resources there. And if you go visit CodingFace.com, you're going to learn how to code and learn how to get a job ASAP, right? That's what we specialize in. We try to get you prepared to become a developer as soon as possible. And if you're interested in that, check out the website, man. Right? They give you this big paycheck at first where it says, man, you're going to get $120,000 or $100,000 or even $80,000. But if you're working twice as much, you're really working for half of the money. Okay? Meaning, you're basically, instead of you really making 120000 what you're doing is you're working for 60000 right? You're working for 60000 right? Now, mind you, when you think about it and you analyze this and you're like, wait, 
maybe he's right. You, you're really working for 60000 because what you're doing is you're working your 40 hours plus another 40 hours on top of that. And that's how you get your whole $120,000 a year, which to me is exploiting the developers, right? You're pretty much having these developers as slaves. A lot of these guys, they go to school, they have student loan, they work hard, right? They come in and a lot of times they get burnt out by the industry. You know, that's why even in the gaming industry, you see that there's constantly new developers coming in and constantly new developers leaving out, okay? Unless they're building their own personal games, most guys, they quit within five years, okay? And that's a shame. And that's happening because of the fact that these companies are pretty much raping people. Like, nobody should work 100 hours, right? Nobody should work 100 hours unless they want to and they are getting paid at least time and a half, okay? Because I work 100 hours if you tell me, hey man, you're gonna work time and a half? I'm gonna leave out of here with 250,000? Hey man, I'll take it. I'll work those, those hours, but to leave with the same amount of money that you was gonna get anyways if you work 40 hours, it's kind of ridiculous, okay? So how can we stop this, right? How can we really put a stop to this thing? To be honest, I think only developers can put a stop to it. As a community, we can literally come in and say, hey, you know what? We need to put a union. We need to set up a union because this is where it's going, right? If we leave it to companies, they, they're gonna continue raping a lot of people. We wanna make sure that we get paid what we're supposed to. Because it's very convenient for a company to pay a developer half as much for twice the work.